Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to my version of To Fodder or Not To Fodder, Thor Rebirth Edition, basically. This is a video that someone requested I do, so I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna talk about every single Nat 4 in the game and why you should or shouldn't fodder them. Now, I'm gonna say that this is, I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this, like an insane amount of shit for, for, for making this. But I have to do it. I have to do it. Like someone, someone had to do it, um, because you know, obviously, my opinions will not agree with everyone else's. Um, I'm also pretty far in the game, I think. So once you pass a certain point, there are certain monsters that are no longer um, useful to you. But early game, there are certain monsters that, if you have, they can help you progress really, really fast. I'll take for example, like the firewall thing. Um, She's very, very good for B, B9. You can use her to self-sustain. And I also used her before for B8 because, you know, she's just a decent attacker that has a lot of self-sustain. And you don't really have to worry too much about keeping her alive because she'll just keep herself alive. So she's she was a really, really good monster to have early on. But at my stage of the game, I no longer need her. And she's become basically 100% useless to me. Um, so there's no real reason that I would I would ever need her. Besides, maybe if I have a lot of wild things lying around, I'll evil three her just because she's probably still the best, um, best version of the wild things. But there are, there are like, you know, um, and then there, you know, at, at a certain point, the wood wild thing can also be really, really useful. If you're starting out dragons or something like that, you don't have, um, you know, dark Victoria, light Medusa, you know, monsters like that, um, then you can definitely use the wood wall thing as your CC monster. But then, like, I also outgrown her, and then she became useless to me. So these are just some of the examples that I have. And, um, hopefully I can explain it well enough to... So you guys don't make any mistakes. Like, any mistakes that you, you'll regret. Um, okay, let's just get started. First things first, the, the, the Jins. Um... One reason I would not fodder them is because they're pretty hard to get. And I would say the the fire one is one of the best fire farmers in the game. He has nice uh nice attack stats. He has predator on his four star on his five star skill. And he has SP siphon, which basically is like a stronger morale boost if you have high enough attack. Um, so really really good monster for farming and farming fast is really important in the late game You can use them to speed run BA. You can use them to speed run um, a lot of story map stages So this is definitely a monster that you you would want to keep um, so Because there is already one good version of him I would and he's so hard to get I won't talk about the other ones because it's just There's no reason to, to fodder the Afrits at all or the the Jins. Next thing is the Miros now these ones are the capturable monsters you can get from the the maps, you know, the ones that like the bolt wings and the the anus. Um, they're capturable on the third continent, and they have one good use. If you can happen to get them as a variant, and getting variant legendaries is actually easier than getting variant um, nat fours most of the time because I've been playing a while, um, only from the third continent continent a few times. Already have two of them as a variant, and. The bolt wings, you know, I've been farming a lot of times. I also caught a, quite a few um, variant bolt wings as well. So it's definitely very, very possible to get them as a variant. They have one of the stronger leader skills, an HP lead as a variant. So definitely really, really nice leader. Um, I, I would say they don't really excel at anything. They really have no good use. But one good use is their, their leader skill. Like, if you can happen to get one of them as a, as a variant, you can maybe use the fire one or the water one, depending on what you, what you want to do, because these two have some pretty, pretty decent utility, um, and this one has some good, uh, good damage. You know, 3,100, Stalker on first kill, HP 7 on second, can't, can't really go wrong with that. The Anus, I actually would say, unless you, you, um, are either tr trying to go for the Shiva fusion or you're just raising a light Anu just for his 100% armor break and keeping him then the other Anus are actually fodderable you can actually feed them 
because you can farm more items in the future. Like, you, it's pretty easy to farm the, the legendary. Well, I wouldn't say it's, like, extremely easy, but it's possible to get them. After, like, playing for a few more months, you will get um, whatever you foddered back. So, because of that reason, I, I say it's, it's pretty safe um, to fodder them. Now, most four stars actually are fodderable unless you need them immediately. So I'm going to just basically point out some of the things you could use them for. And if you think you don't really need that, then you can still fodder those monsters, you know. So the Bolt Wings, same reason as the Anus and Meros, you can fodder them because they're, they're farmable. Um, the Thors are Thors, you're trying to get them, so don't fodder them. The Nezas, I... I, uh... They are replaceable, but they're also pretty good. This is this one I'm pretty iffy about because they have really really nice debuffs. Like the the fire one has really nice debuffs. The water one has really nice debuffs for titans. Um, attack down and blind. You can't like 70% chance is really really high. You know one of the definitely one of the better monsters you can use. And I think because of that reason, um, you know they're they're probably one of the better monsters for whatever utility that they're providing. I would say don't fodder them, um, mainly because you you don't have too many monsters that have the same utility as they do, like the attack down on first skill, um, defense down, that's very very valuable for for titans, like attack down on first skills is, is quite valuable. So um, yeah, if you have extra ones you can put them on extra teams and provide this, this attack down more times, so and then if you if you're like definitely if you're getting into like the later game you have like all your com your your titan team 100% complete then you would definitely want to evil three them as well for as much stats as possible so probably don't fodder them all right moving on to the yakshas the yakshas i think the wood one ever since the the patch has become insanely strong um this is actually one of the best like monsters i would say for for dragon speed 10 and you know you guys know how i'm how how much much i love farming dragon speed 10 um so probably don't fodder, fodder these i'm trying to raise one right now and I, I regret using some of them for the past rebirth i didn't know they were going to be that this strong they were going to get changed to become this strong so i'm trying to save up yasha's now mainly to raise the wood one um She's she's a good monster. She's just a really good monster for 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 dragons. I think it's like a pretty niche use. But dragons is something for the late game. So you definitely wanna wanna keep her as well um, for the late game. The Lokis are are alright. Like the the fire one's a sapper, the water one is a um, attack type monster. The water one's actually pretty strong for I would say for PvP, you can also use them for for farming dungeons. Like for example, if you want to farm um, speed farm B8, you can use them as a first skill nuker, because you can basically one shot all the any of the mobs with his first skill. And if he gets his AOE up, although it doesn't have Hunter on it, if you have enough damage on him, um, he should be able to still like you know clear a whole wave with his AOE because he has that element advantage. And he's also a really pretty good monster for PvP. Depending, I think for hunt, for farming alone, he has replacements. For PvP, he really has no good replacement. I mean, there is like the Water Valk who basically like has more damage on first skill. But then Thirst is also really, really strong in PvP. If you can land this, um, the enemies can't use their actives. So it basically is like, it serves as kind of like a silence as well. Um, it's pretty good. He's, he's pretty good. Now... I would say if you really need him to if you really need to do the Thor rebirth, he actually would still be fodderable. Um but not something I highly recommend because he's like the water one's pretty pretty strong. Um the I, I don't think I should really talk about light dark versions. There really is no point. Like if you have a light dark anything, don't fodder it. But if you want to raise that light dark anything that don't fodder the RGB versions as well like that's just it's just common sense all right it's just common sense um, if you really want to you could fodder him that's that's what I think but I I would not um, I would not recommend it the 
Tigers. The I think the best one is the wood one. He has Predator and Stun. Kind of serves the same purpose as that Water Loki, since his first skill um, is like a damage amplifier. He's an alright monster, but I think he definitely gets outclassed. I don't think there's any places where you really just need like a strong wood attacker for anything like that. Um, you know, if you want to use like Titans, you can just use like wood bets or something like that. It doesn't really help to have them that much. Um, so I would say the Tigers are probably pretty, pretty fodderable. You can definitely fodder any Tiger you want. Um, the Suras. Now, the, the Water Sura is probably, like, everyone knows the water, how good the Water Sura is. The thing is, he, like, he has that nice stun and predator. He's also really tanky. He's really, really strong in PvP. Um, he's also very good for stunning in TLC, the Tower of Chaos, because there's a lot of stages that might require you to use some sort of CC. And if he lands his CC, it lasts for two turns. So he's, it's, he's very powerful that way. Um, I would say keep the Suras, mainly because how, of how useful the water one is. You, you definitely do want to raise one to Evo 3 eventually. So, don't fodder the Suras. Um, yeah, just don't fodder the Suras. The light dark versions are also really strong as well, so don't fodder those. You know, I actually might, um, if I skipped enough, I might actually forget to talk about these these uh, Guardian Dungeon Monsters. Now, these Guardian Dungeon Monsters, you can't use the Evil 1 version to fodder, but you can use the Evil 2 version to fodder. A really good thing about doing this is you can actually summon some variants, and then you make an Evil 2 variant, use three variants, and try to get like a variant Thor for that armor lead. Um, he's... Yeah, he's just fodderable. Like, you, you can use as many as these as you want to fodder. There really is no nothing to that can... You won't get uh, hurt too much by it. I say the same thing about the Granitus, although the Granitus are a, little, a, a lot more useful because um, you can easily get them as a variant for that HP lead. The thing is, they actually come back after a few months as another Guardian Dungeon, so you can farm another one then if you really, really need one. Um, and he's also not something you definitely like 100% need to progress with early on, so it's not going to hurt you too much to use these to, to fodder. Um, even if you get like a, a variant, you can try to use that variant to try to get a variant Thor as well. Now, the vampires. The vampires are... The vampires, I say, would be are, are actually fo fodderable as well. The water one is kind of serves the... It, it's kind of like a, the wood tiger, but a water version. So, kind of for the same reason, um, he is replaceable. This one is a pretty good monster you can use for farming B9 early on because of his self-sustain. And yeah, he has Hunter on his second skill. He's definitely a really strong monster. But the thing is, he's also a monster that I think is replaceable. Mainly because um, you might not even need the self-sustain all that much later on. He does have some uses late game, like he is he is one of the best self-sustainers. But he's he's really niche. Like you can't um if you just want to nuke her, for example, you're better off using like morale boost or something like that, like to straight out nuke through stages. If you're farming for like B10, for example, you're better off using like light units um for the elemental, you know, extra damage anyways. And um like, if you want to use B10 and you use him or the Light Snowy, then you would definitely pick the Light Snowy or something like that. So he he gets replaced, like, in, in a lot of um, situations, certain situations, by, by other monsters. So he's not something that you 100% need as well. So I think the Vampires are probably far fodderable. The Wood one is just, is just garbage, so you can fodder him as well. Um, the Yuki's. This one's a sapper. The water yuki is like one of the better sappers in the game, but there's a lot of sap, and sap besides like TLC 55 is kind of useless. Um, if you really want to, you can fodder fodder her. Wood one's complete garbage. The fire one has a two two defense down. This is actually pretty useful, um, and as a t attacker with defense down, it's def it's definitely quite nice. To, to use in certain dungeons. 
She might be pretty good in like B10 to try to like defense down a lot of things and nuke and stuff. But then she has no, she's like element neutral. Um, I think because of the the lack of like defense down dark units, um, other defense down normal units are actually pretty good to use for certain stages. But she's also not something you definitely need in like a B10 team or anything like that. You don't need to 100% have her or use her for anything. So if you really want to, you can you can fodder the Yukis. It's pretty safe to fodder these. The Jeans are the Jeans are all shit. You can fodder them. That's that's all I have to say. Um, <laughs> unless you have a light light or dark one, then you can save them to feed to to that. The Leos, I think the Wood Leo is definitely really, really strong um, for PvP for a lot of purposes. You can use them for armor break for Titans, you can use them for armor break for like running anything that needs armor break. Um, attack down's pretty good as well. Attack down's also really good if you can spam that on Titans as well. Um, just a really good utility monster and I somehow cannot find him. Anyways, I would probably save the Leos for for the wood one so don't fodder the leos um succubus the fire one's actually really strong now they they buffed her like crazy she's she's a really really strong late game nuker 100 percent armor break um nice leader skill if you can get, get her as a variant she has a nice hp lead as well very good monster um would definitely try to get one of evil three if you know like would definitely recommend you try to try to get one to evil three as well in the future um i think armor break nukers are going to make a comeback because not not a lot of people are building b10 like golem b10 teams right now but i think like normal element um armor break nukers might might actually be be usable in in future b10 teams i'm gonna have to build up some teams and try things out um i think she's pretty good like she can definitely definitely do her job pretty well so I would not fodder her um, the water one's also really good for PvP yeah I keep the succubus don't don't fodder those wood one's kind of garbage but you can use the wood to feed the other two so there's that now this is probably the most controversial thing I'm gonna say um, I think the cupids Unless you're really early, like playing the game really early on, they're actually not that good, to be honest. Like this shield is flat, this skill is shit. Um, but you still want to like use him early on because he is he does actually does like he actually does have a shield. The water one is pretty bad. The fire one is like a weaker version of the dark Venus. So you have if you have the he's the fire one's actually the probably the strongest one. Like he's he has some real these two are really nice skills. Um, for a healer to have attack down attack up the thing is he just gets completely outclassed by the dark venus so if you have a dark venus there's really no point for you to have a have a cupid um he does the the one th good thing he does have is a hp lead skill so if you happen to get him as a variant and you can raise the fire one and um you know provide hp lead provide attack up definitely definitely quite strong like i don't think he's weak like the the skill set of the fire cupid is actually really good, but it's just like a much weaker version of the dark Venus. Like she has a two turn eighty percent, and then still has attack up, has better stats, and is dark. Dark means extra ten percent resist. You know. Um, the curas, the curas are. Are actually pretty good to be honest like uh the water one's pretty good the fire one's also pretty good wood one's pretty shit probably probably don't fodder the curas the thing is the fire one um this doesn't actually do that much because you need the critical hit to make this work and if you build crit on her she's just, she's just gonna be really squishy she doesn't even scale well with attack as well because she's recovery based so if you want to put like one slot crit on her it'll just completely cripple her um and her shield doesn't scale at all so if you have like a light venus there there's really no reason to use a um use a fire fire cura the water cura the reason why she's good isn't actually because of the attack up it's because she's a morale boost healer 
So she always has her heal up sooner than other people. Um, and that's one of the reasons why she's so good. She also recently got buffed to get her attack up to 3 turns. So she could be a little bit comparable to the Dark Venus now, but the Dark Venus is probably still much, much stronger with that 80% um, attack down on first skill. It's different utility, it's not the same thing. It's not really, it's like comparing apples to oranges. Um, I would say Water One's actually pretty strong. Like, it doesn't really have anything in the game um, that has the exact same skill set as her. So, it's. Um, Probably should keep the Kuros, maybe raise a raise a water one in the future. Um, but it's also not something you 100% need. So if you definitely, if you like really want to rebirth for Thor, then you can feed these as well. Alright, moving on to the Victorious. There's a really good reason why you don't feed the Victorious. Especially, unless, unless you have, already have a light dark, um, like a max out, like you have like three light victorious maxed out like all evil three because you play during the first month or something like that um or the dark victoria or maybe you just did enough fusions to to make it work and then during the rebirth month for the victorias you got like two more like victorias and they're all evil three then you can f feed your victorias but otherwise i would keep my victorias because of how good the light and dark victorias is or are also next month they're gonna have uh they're going to add the Victorias to Rebirth, so you definitely want to save up your Victorias to get them to Evil 3. So don't don't fodder your Victorias. Banshees, I'll be completely honest, they're not all that good. The pro probably the best one is the Wood Banshee, and she's all also even... Um, She's, she's also even not that good. Her morale boost is only 20%. Defense down 60%. She's a t attack type. Her stat distribution is like, alright, for 4 star attacks. Pretty standard. I think it's like 3,100. Like, all attack type. Yeah, like, they, they all look like this, basically. Um, they're okay. It's definitely... She's definitely usable if you can get her to evil 3. But she's also replaceable you don't really need her for anything like you don't really 100% need her for anything so um, yeah I think the Banshees are pretty safe to fodder Banshees are definitely pretty safe now the Wild Fang the Wild Fang the the fire one has um, is pretty good for B9 for early on I stated before that she actually falls off the in the late game you don't really need her at all the water one is just uh, is just shit and the wood one is a really good CC monster. I used to use her for Dragon Speed 10, but there are a lot better alternatives as well. Like you know, be mainly because she's a defender type. She's not a tank type. Um, you don't really need these anywhere. Her CC like petrify. Um, the only reason why this is good is to stack up your bar against the dragon. She had that like one one niche that she she was able to fill because of this. But now that you if you have like, um, if you've watched any of my runs for Dragon Speed 10, you'll you'll notice that it's much much better to have harder hitting CC monsters rather than one that only has 2,000 base attack. It's just her stat distribution. If she was an attack type, she would be the best monster. But um, for for Dragon Speed 10, but sadly she isn't. So you can probably use her early on if you're trying to get into dragons. Um, but then afterwards, she, she kind of falls off if you have other monsters. If you have nothing better to use, then you can use her. But there are also other, like, normal RGB um, CC monsters that are better than her, like the the, uh, the the Yakshas, the Wood Yaksha, for example. Alright, the Hanas. Uh, don't feed the Hanas. Wood Hana is really strong. Don't, don't feed the Hanas. That's all I'm going to say. Don't feed the Hanas. Um... Are we done? Oh, we're done. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's that's all the nat fours. Um, hopefully, I don't get killed for this. But yeah, that's just my opinion. If you disagree with me, well, well, suck it. All right, well, suck it. That's that's all I have to say. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, this gave you guys some uh, some ideas about um, what is safe to to fodder and what isn't. If you have, if you want any details, hop on my Discord. I'm always on. Ask me questions. I'll reply to you live. Um, and 
yeah, that's pretty much it. That's, that's all I have to say. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.